when you guys are getting the kind of performance from your offense that you did today mm -hmm. as a defense, how frustrating is it to kind of let, let one like that get away? Um, yeah, you know, we obviously, you know, want to never let them score whenever they get down there in the, in the red zone. And um, towards the, the last touchdown they had, um, we had a big play and then um, had a penalty on the goal line as well, which allowed them to get more downs and they end up scoring. For you guys, it feels like there's there's almost always, or at least in, in the last couple of games, there's been a big chunk of plays delayed. Mm -hmm. Is there any kind of common theme with that that you guys are able to identify? And, and if so, what's going on there? Um, I mean, I don't think it's a theme. I just think it's an offense that is losing, taking a shot downfield, and then it just comes down to someone just winning. What you feel like you guys at three and five have put yourself in a pretty tough spot here with nine to go? And what do you, how do you think this team reacts to this? Um, I think we're going to react, you know, how I know we're going to react and how we have in the past, which is, you know, come out um, and continue to work, continue to stay together and, and try to find a way to improve. Obviously, you don't want to be, you know, three and five. It's an uphill battle that we have now, but we put ourselves here. Um, but the right, best thing that we can do to, to fix the problem is stick together. How tough was just, you know, that last drive of theirs? I mean, you've done so well keeping out of the yeah. end zone. Except for their first drive, how tough was that last drive not being able to get the stop? Yeah, it's tough. Um, like I said, you know, we want to – Obviously, never let them get down there. I felt like you know we had a good, good start to that drive, and then penalty here allowed to extend the drive, and then X play, and then when it got in the red zone, it was a, another penalty. So, um, just find ways to play cleaner and to give us the best chance. So you guys are working hard to you know get turnovers and affect the quarterback. Um, obviously, no turnovers tonight. Mm -hmm. um, I only think a couple hits on the quarterback. Mm -hmm. how, t how tough is that against any quarterback when you're not affecting him that way? Yeah, um, obviously, you know, we want to affect the quarterback, and it's tough when you're not getting those those turnovers. Um, he didn't really give us a lot too many opportunities, you know, to, to get the ball off. But I thought we, we, we applied pressure on him. Uh, we did apply pressure. You know, we just didn't get those hits that we wanted, them sacks that we wanted. Is there anything you can pinpoint to these losses on the road? It's like in Nissan Stadium, mm -hmm. you guys are a lot different than you are on the yeah, uh, I think it just comes down to the details. You know, don't get let the road environment, you know, get you amped up and get you out of your technique and fundamentals. And, you know, just being able to hone in and stay calm and complacent and then be able to just go out there and perform. They found those two big plays back to back, 32 yard pass up the right side, and then yeah. Warren got him down that goal line. On the yeah. Uh -huh. drive. Giving up the killers right, right at the end there. What, what's that uh, obviously, like I just said, you know, when you're not executing the way that we know we can uh, as a defense, you know, you, every group, whether it's special teams, offense, defense, nobody wants to be the one to let the team down. You know, everybody wants to just do their job and, you know, make the play. So obviously when you don't do that um, and you come up short, that, that, that hurts. And even at the end, you know, we get the stop with the two-minute situation. Offense gets opportunity. You know I'm saying? Like, the situation that they were in was not favorable at all and still having a chance, you know, to drive it down the field for as long as they did, like, you know, it's put them in, in, in really bad situations. And, you know, us as a defense, we got to do better. But with the run defense, you guys were really good for about the first four games of the season. And now it seems like teams have had more and more success. What do you feel like is going wrong there? Uh, I, I, guess I just think it's just trying to be a little bit more sound. I think when, you, you know, you start – Having situations like us where you like stuffing the run, stuffing the run, you're you're expecting teams to do something super exotic to try to mess with you, and then you know they might run the most basic play. You're like, oh crap, like that's all it was. And you know, they might be scheming up all week for a certain play or some weird play that you're gonna get, and then they might just run his eyes on you. Like, oh, you know, like so it's just getting back to the fundamentals, the basics. You know, everybody, myself included, uh, taking it one, one play at a time, one day at a time, and you know it's Thursday night get back in on Tuesday uh, and we got to be ready to work because this is uh, <laughs> last week like I said <laughs> everybody was loving us up this week on Thursday if not even five days later now oh man you know you guys just let one drop so in the day you know it's, it's how this business goes you got to show up every week or else you'll get beat Gonna smile and look at the next guy he's like you ready to have some fun and I mean all you need is five at the end of the day and uh, yeah the guys who went in played their heart out so what was the feeling as you guys got the ball light yeah, yeah, Will was uh, very composed in the huddle. He did a great job marching us downfield. Um, we were very close, uh, obviously. Uh, they, they played well. They uh, had good defense, and uh, they closed it out. Uh, we just got to be able to finish in the red zone with those opportunities. And But, yeah, it felt like we had good momentum. We were moving the ball. We were going well. We only gave it, like, one sack on that drive. And, yeah, we just came up short. How do you feel like you get guys get as a whole 
spot of shuffle so many guys in a different spot? We're a pretty tight knit group outside of the facility and even in the facility when we're in meetings and stuff. So like I said, when a new guy gets in there, you kind of smile and be like, hey, this is your opportunity. Let's have some fun together. So uh, yeah, it just definitely helps that we're a tight knit group outside of football and we're just able to just bond and like you say, throw another guy in. It's just like just uh, going in the rotation. Everybody feels good with each other. So. Yeah.